Today we're going to learn about the procurement types in SAP production planning. So the topics that we're going to cover today, they are procurement type for in-house production, procurement type for external procurement and quota arrangement. So first of all, we'll talk about the procurement type. What are the procurement types we have in production planning? So in the material master, you have two options basically to select the procurement type. So whenever you need to procure a product, so you have only two sources. Either you can uh, do the procurement in-house or it can be external procurement. So in-house product uh, procurement means or in-house production means that we're going to manufacture this uh, product in-house so this product can be a raw material it can be a semi-finished product it can be a final assembly as well so either we can manufacture it uh, in-house or we can buy it from a third party vendor so Let's have a look into the material master here. So if you go to MM02 transaction and open the material. And if you go to the MRP2 tab, here you can see the procurement type. So here if I open this box, you can see the available options. So here you can see we got uh, in-house production type or external procurement or it can be no procurement or it can be both so when you select x which is both that means either sometimes we uh, want to use the in-house production or sometimes we buy it from outside depending on the situation or depending on the load on the work center so basically you can say we prefer it for in-house but when the machines are busy then we can go for outside so you have the both options or you can have the in-house or external procurement. Now, when you select the uh, procurement type, so when you select the in-house, uh, say in-house, if I select in-house, which is E, E stands for in-house, then you can select the uh, procurement type as well, like in uh, whether you want to procure from a other plant or from your own plant, for example, here if you select number 80 special procurement type which is known as special procurement type and if I open that so if it's like 80 80 means we want to procure it from the another plant of our company so still in house however it will be produced in another plant of our company and then it will be to our own so that's what we can do and in the case of um, uh, other option which is F which is external procurement so external means purchasing from outside from a vendor okay so when you say procurement or purchasing from outside that will that will be a sap mm module so in this module what you can do is either you can uh, you can also select the option for for stock transfer from another plant so here you can see in the slide here so when you select uh, external procurement then you can select stock transfer from the other plant or it can be subcontracting however when you select the in-house you can say production from the own plant and the plant of our we can do the production in the own plant so in the external procurement when you select 40 stock transfer we want to do the stock transfer that means another plant of our, our company has got the stock then we want to do the stock transfer or it can be subcontracting subcontracting is a actually material management topic where we we use subcontracting to, uh, for example, to do one operation on our own material, we can subcontract that operation. That means, say we just want to drill holes and we want to put the screws for a component. Then we can subcontract it to a third party vendor who will be doing this job only for us and then they can send back the material to us. So that's called subcontracting, which is a part of SAP and So here when you select when you select F, then you can select say 30, which is subcontracting, or you can select 
some others like stock transfer from plan 2000 like that so these are the options we have now let's see some theory about this one the procurement type is used to determine whether a material is to be produced in-house or procured externally the procurement type is predefined by the material type customizing now let me show you that the procurement type that you select we can customize this in the material type customizing so if I go to the customizing option if I go to SPRO SAP reference IMG so do a control F and search for material type so here if you select find the customizing for material type so here is the one under material master open that and here if you open that again define attribute of material type open that so here for example if I select a material say uh, just said DEIN services open that and go to the details now we already seen this customizing in the one of the previous video but the part I want to show you here is that here you can select that what you want to allow do you want to allow the external procurement or internal or both so you can see for external procurement you have selection 2 so what is 2 let's have a look so 2 means external procurement purchasing al orders allowed okay when you select 1 that means external purchase, purchase order allowed but warning that means when someone will create a purchase order then they will get a warning that this is basically designed for in-house okay but if they can ignore the warning and they can continue to create the purchase order and 0 for no external pur purchase order allowed so same goes for uh, in-house purchase order so in-house purchase order means in-house production that means that uh, when we create the uh, pr uh, production orders so same option you have here so internal purchase order allowed or allowed with warning or not allowed so let me show you one example here now earlier if, with this material that I was showing you ABC material you have seen that under MRP2 you have seen that system does allow us to select E or F or X so here you can say you can choose one option so if I select a different material say let me show you a Z material to play with again if you want to play please al always use any Z material so select a Z one select Z GAM Z garment if I go to the detail here you can see the setting is saying external purchasing allowed and internal purchasing true so two means internal purchasing order allowed and if I say external is not allowed if I make it zero that means external procurement which is purchase order is not allowed so that means zero means but external is not allowed however the internal is allowed so let's see what happens in the material master MRP2 tab if I save it selector customizing that's it so only internal is allowed you can see here so if I create a material using ZGM if I select okay, go to MM01 and here you can uh, if I select a uh, cell creator uh, Z um, garment demo for example and I will select this ZGM uh, material type and press enter now just to be quick I will just select the view that I want to create basic view and MRP2 view just to view select so that I can show you select your plant and store location here I can call it a demo material unit of measure is each press enter it will jump to the MRP2 so here the thing I wanted to show you here you can see E it by default is selected E but it is grayed out 
what is grayed out because it doesn't allow